What's up guys? We are back for another review, taking a look at the first in the Black Series Archive Wave 2 figures. And this is a wave that I'm actually going to review because we have some legit upgrades this time around. So today we're taking a look at Anakin Skywalker, arguably the most anticipated for this wave just because of the fact that he is so expensive on the aftermarket, or maybe was, because there's no doubt about it to me that this figure absolutely blows away the original. So I'm very excited to pair this guy with the original and then likely replace him on my shelf. So we got him here in the standard archive packaging. So you've got him there in the bubble, but he is on a card instead of in a box. And then we've got some artwork down there on the bottom. And then on the back side, you've got more of that artwork with a shot of the original package, as well as a bit of a write-up for Anakin. So let's do it. Let's pull this guy out and take a look. And here we go, 2.0 Anakin Skywalker out of the box. This is a figure that I know a lot of folks are definitely after just because the original is prohibitively expensive, or maybe he was, I'm not sure if it's dropping down or not, but it was far more expensive than I ever thought this figure deserved to be because I have never really liked this figure. There's still some things about this one that I don't like too, but this one definitely seems to be the better version thanks to the photo reel. And that's really the big change here is that we have photo reel employed on our heads this time. And I think it makes them quite a bit more serviceable. Now we're going to run through all the normal stuff and then we will do a comparison to the original figure because I definitely have him and I'm definitely looking forward to at least getting rid of that figure off the shelf and swapping it out for one that I think has a better likeness. So let's see what he can do. Let's see how he moves around. So the head is on a, a ball hinge. He can not go back because he's got his nice, you know, wavy hair there, but he can go down pretty far and you've got rotation. Arms go out, they rotate. You have got elbow and uh, you've got elbow rotation and then a single joint. So it's a pretty dated articulation at this point and it's, it's kind of wonky looking. I've always thought that the arms on this figure were really fat because of how this joint is structured. You've got hinges and rotation at the wrist. You've got your waist twist and he has a little bit of a cut forward and backwards so he can go backwards basically none but he goes forwards a little bit and then you do have a little bit of bobble side to side and then of course rotation your legs go out about that far that's really it and then they kick forward they kick backwards your uh, skirt piece here is going to hinder that a little bit it's going to make it a little tight you've got a thigh cut double jointed knees that go all the way back they're very ugly but they go all the way back and then you have got rocker and hinge down there at those ankles so i mean if you're familiar with the original figure you know exactly what you're getting here it's nothing out of the ordinary for black series he moves pretty well he is definitely not the most agile of figures but he does uh he does afford some posability in at least a few respects now when it comes to the overall look the feel the sculpt the paint I think this figure is okay. Again, he's never been one that I've really cared too much about. I've always thought that he was kind of odd looking in some respects and not necessarily just in the face. I've always thought he kind of looked a little fat. And I think it's just because of how the tunic is structured. And then you've got this massive elbow joint here that makes it look like he has a big like tumor at the middle of his arm. Something about this figure in the midriff always kind of looked a little chunky to me. And it still comes through with this figure. It's just, it's just something I see. I, you know, your mileage may vary on that but he certainly looks a little weird from the front. He looks like he kind of billows out to the sides a little bit, and that's definitely not Anakin. He is, uh, if, if anything else, he is fit and uh, toned to be sure. So you've got, uh, you know, you've got your Jedi robe, so you've got your inner robe, and then you've got your outer tunic. You've got your belt here that's uh, painted pretty well, nice adornments on it. It's all the same that we've seen on the original figure. I mean, you're not really seeing anything different here when it comes to the body on this figure. You do have your rather odd soft goods uh, the inner robe here like like we saw way back when so you've got the little skirt piece here it doesn't impede articulation or anything I'm not sure it ever really added anything for the longest time honestly I completely forgot that he even had soft goods that's how lasting of an impact that had on me but I do think it's it's an interesting take on making this figure rather than giving him a full soft goods outfit so it kind of meshes a little bit and it works well enough there's really no problem with it you've got his uh, 
his uh, bangles over here on his gauntlet, so you know on the on the cyborg arm. And of course, you've got a gloved hand, and then you've got an ungloved hand. You've got some sculpt on the boots. There isn't a ton of paint on this figure, really, from uh, from the neck down. It's mostly just little adornments here and there, a little bit of details. Most of the figure is uh, is actually just molded plastic, which works well enough. He doesn't really have any issues or any real problems there, outside of the fact that I think he looks a little chunky. He is basically the figure that we have come to know for, what, the past five, four, five years at this point. But the meat of this figure is, is definitely the head sculpt. And I think for my money, there is no doubt about it, this is the version to go with. There is absolutely zero reason to go back and try to get the original Anakin unless you need it for completionist's sake or you need a closed package sample, something like that. There is no real reason to have that figure on your shelf anymore for my money. Uh, I'd still think that the SH Figure Arts is the better figure at this type of scale, but for Black Series, there's no doubt about it, this head sculpt is the same, but of course, we have photo reel this time around, and I think it looks pretty good, and honestly, the angle that it's at right now is ideal for me. I think it looks really, really good. Straight on, he sometimes looks a little weird. His nose kind of tapers in a bit, so he looks a little like he's got a thin nose. But the face is nicely done. Everything is pretty clean and straight. I don't have any issues with my printing. The scar is nicely done. And then there's a, a decent amount of wash in the hair sculpt on this guy as well. So, I mean, I don't, I've never thought that this sculpt was the best. And I still have my issues with it in some respects. I don't think the likeness is 100%. But for me, again, this is a definite definite improvement over the original non-photo real figure. It's a, it's a kind of night and day difference, and I don't think anybody's going to disagree with me on that. And speaking of, here he is for our side-by-side -side comparison. And, I mean, again, it's it's a night and day difference. I still don't think the likeness is 100%, but with this photo reel printing, there is a lot more subtle attention to detail. You can see a lot more of the sculpt in subtle shading that's on the face. The eyes look a lot better. The mouth actually has paint on it. The scar looks a little better. And it's just a more defined, detailed paint job. I mean, this thing, this thing is a mess. I have really never cared for this figure, and I definitely do... Do not like this head sculpt or this head uh, this head paint rather more than anything else this figure and the obi-wan from the same era same movie have always rubbed me the wrong way because they're such pivotal versions of those characters and yet they've always looked so weird but this is a great great upgrade despite my my issues with the quote-unquote chunkiness that i see in this body i think the head sculpt is a night and day difference it is a must-have upgrade if you care that much about changing out your Anakin and making him into a more appropriate version of this character. Now, as far as accessories goes, this guy comes with the extra head sculpt, so you've got the more evil Anakin, the Darth Vader Anakin head sculpt here, and I think this one looks a lot more like Hayden Christensen than the standard one. I'm not so sure that this is my preferred head sculpt, though, because I've always thought, again, I've always got something weird with these. I've always thought that it kind of sits weird on the head, or on the neck, rather. It kind of juts forward weird. Something about it looks odd to me, but I think the detail on it is really fantastic, and just the sheer evilness that comes through in this head sculpt. He looks kind of gaunt. He looks a little like he's got a bit of a smoky complexion to him, and then you've got those Sith eyes in there. So I'm very happy with this head sculpt, despite the fact that I do think it still kind of sits odd. I like the hair sculpt. It's kind of windswept almost. You've got the the eyes again are the big thing for me. And then the likeness definitely just looks more like Hayden Christensen. I don't have my original one handy to look. I'm not sure where it is, so I have no way to get it for comparison's sake. But it stands to reason and that it is, again, a night and day difference. And then beyond that, we, of course, have got the lightsaber. You can't not have the lightsaber. So we do have the Skywalker saber here, and it's uh, just done up with the standard gray plastic hilt with some paint embellishments on it for the buttons and the switches, and then you've got a blue blade. But you can pop the blade out, and this guy will peg into his belt right there, so you can have an unignited saber if you wish to go along with your Anakin. So overall, I still have a few gripes with this figure from a body perspective, but it should be noted that there was never any indication that that was going to be changed. So the weird things that I don't like about this body from kind of a chunkiness look to the fat elbows thing, that was not going to be changed, and I wasn't expecting them to. My main interest, and just like everybody else with this figure, is the head sculpts, and I think 
Hasbro has done a great job of showing, again, what Photo Real can do, bringing out the most in existing head sculpts, and that Sith Eyes head in particular, I think, is the shining achievement for this particular release. I think it's a great looking head sculpt, despite the fact that it kind of sits funny, but the Photo Real on these, on these two heads is really nicely done, and this is definitely the Anakin to have on your shelf. Unless you just need to have all of them on your shelf at all times, this is the one to get, and this is the one to be displayed. Replace that old Anakin for sure. So that's going to do it for this look at the Black Series Archive Anakin Skywalker. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time.